Today's vlog is sponsored by CruiseLine.com where you can compare cruise prices with easy to use cruise search. Welcome to Fumi. We are headed off on our excursion with our group. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. No rain as of yet. And uh, yeah, we're just um, gathered up with our group that we assembled on a message board before we left. And we're headed off to meet our tour provider to go for a full day in Ho Chi Minh City. Apparently we need to take a shuttle just to get to the gate. Hopefully that's the case because we don't see our tour provider here. So we're waiting for the shuttle to the gate. There's two lines, one to the gate and one to town. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, we start from the port to Saigon City, the center of the South of Vietnam. Um, it's around like in one hour and 30 minutes. The first one, I'm gonna invite you the coffee, some drink in the famous hotel in Saigon. In Saigon, we have two seasons. One hot season and one very hot season. <laughs> at a five-star hotel on the rooftop. Right now we're on the rooftop of a five-star hotel called the Rex Hotel. This is the first stop in Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City for us on our tour. It took us about an hour and a half to get into the city center and now we're going to be having a round of coffee. So on the way over he took our coffee order. We could decide if we wanted Vietnamese coffee or regular coffee. So we're all looking forward to having some iced coffee and enjoying the beautiful hotel here. The drive to the countryside to get here was absolutely beautiful. You could see all of the rice paddies. But the thing that was most striking is how many motorbikes there are, how many scooters. There are something like 7.9 million motorbikes. It was fascinating to watch people riding them with their children or in pairs, all the fancy masks that they wear to protect them, their faces from the air pollution or whatever, but anyway crazy crazy cool ride over here to Saigon. It took us about again I think it was about an hour and a half and it was a very comfortable pleasant ride. Our guide too is doing an amazing job of telling us all about the history of the country and also all of the important facts that we need to know and boy did we get lucky with the weather. There's virtually no humidity today and no rain and it's sunny it's just perfect. It's important to mention the historical significance of the hotel that our guide brought us to. The Rex Hotel actually during the wartime was a place that reporters would gather to discuss and report on the number of casualties on a daily basis in the war. Kind of sad, kind of depressing, but a good fact to know if you're visiting the Rex Hotel. Vietnamese iced 
coffee was good, but man, this stuff is addictive. If I could get this in the US exactly like this, I would never stop drinking it as my afternoon pick-me-up. It's amazing. We go into Pinghao Pagoda in the Chinatown. It's far away, around 25 minutes. We're here in Chinatown visiting a beautiful temple and we were invited to burn incense in several different areas. It's a bit humid now, but what a cool experience. Shaking hungry, so really excited to have some legit 
Vietnamese pho and spring rolls. Lunch was so chaotic that we couldn't really film it. But let's just say it was the best of my life. Now we are walking through the market. Hello. Our guide bought us all sour soft yam. Is that what it is? Sour soft yam? How is it, guys? How is it? Nobody's gagging, so that's a good sign. Oh, we're just now leaving the Ben Tran market. This is quite an adventure. Our guide told us not to even bother buying anything because we don't know how to negotiate for ourselves. I thought that was pretty funny, so off to our next adventure. Here is Saigon's version of Notre Dame Cathedral. Like a video, right? Yeah. Hi! Right now we are in the box office. The box office was built in 1886 and was inaugurated in 1891. And welcome all of you to Saigon! Hi! Follow me! <laughs> So follow me, we go into the war museum. Next stop, the war museum. Our guide said we can't talk in there, but we can take lots of pictures and to prepare that it might be a little bit sad. The last stop on our tour today is a lacquerware workshop. So we've just learned how they are uh, making all these beautiful handcrafted items from a lacquer tree. So they use the resin from the lacquer tree along with a lot of different substances like eggshells, burnt eggshells, things like that. The process is actually really fascinating and they have beautiful things. I bought just a teeny tiny little souvenir to take back with me because as we know, I packed carry-on only so there's really no room in my suitcase but I could spend all day here. They have beautiful things. Okay, ready? Go. Jing chow, hang up la everybody. Nice to meet all of you guys. Good job. <laughs> We're back at the port. It was a long day in Fumi and Saigon. Our tour started at 7.30 and it's now about four o'clock and Junior is very excited to get back on that ship and see 
his friends in the kids center. I want to give a big shout out to our awesome guide too. He was just exceptional. What a guy. He kept us educated and entertained and taken care of all day long and that tour was so reasonably priced. I don't know uh, if there's anything else that we would have done today that we would have enjoyed anymore. It was a little bit sad to go to the war museum, but other than that, everything was wonderful and uplifting and a great history lesson. Now we're anxious to get back on the ship and enjoy all the Diamond Princess has to offer before tomorrow, our last sea day. So I'm standing right behind Skywalker's Lounge right now, and I just wanted to show you what an industrial port Fumi is. As you can see, it's a working port. You've got a container ship right there, a cargo ship, and all of the machinery is still going. So we love watching this process. So we're just sitting inside of Skywalker's and we're just enjoying this beautiful working port here at Fumi. It was a fun night around the ship. When we got back on board, we wandered the open decks, went and had a cocktail up at Skywalker's, and then we accidentally caught this awesome crew cocktail competition down in the atrium that was being led by Lynn, the awesome cruise director on board. Then we went to dinner and now we're back in the room getting ready to crash out to enjoy tomorrow's final day on the beautiful Diamond Princess. Thank you all so much for following along with us. Tomorrow will be a sea day, so we'll probably mellow out and then bring you guys back along with us for our debarkation day in Singapore. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.